Hello, so from Try Four, but it's with another Blender Quickie, or a Blender Quick Tip actually. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you can speed up and slow down animations in Blender the easy way. I'm going to kind of, I don't want to rush through it, but I just don't have that much time. My son and daughter and wife just went out. My son, he, he didn't want to go at all, he wanted to stay with me. But we were able to get him outside so I can work on this uh, tutorial really quick. But in Blender, you have something called time remapping, which I just kind of noticed. I think it was the other day and this exists in uh, After Effects and Premiere Pro and what time remapping does it it, make, it actually helps you to remap time to either speed it up or slow it down and we can do that in Blender which is just great you can find uh, the settings for time remapping in your let me see this is the output property so you click on that and I think this works in any version of Blender and when you go down here you scroll down you see time remapping it has old, a setting for the old, which is the original uh, timing or speed of your animation, and you have new. Now, this works, as far as I can tell, only in the viewport when it comes to animating. It doesn't work when you want to import a video into Blender and you want to time remap it. It doesn't work like that. This only works when you're trying to animate it. Just regular animation speeding up and slow it down. Now I have a scene here where I have four different cubes. You have the red, green, here, blue and yellow. And they all do different things. Let's play it so you can see what it what is going on in the uh, scene here. Let me click on play. And this falls, this bounces, the green one slides across and the blue one kind of hops and slides. Now we want to kind of slow this down and the time remapping in Blender is really really straightforward and really easy. All you have to do is adjust your new now if you want to make it go slower you just increase your, your new the parameters and the new we're going to pump this up to 500 and then we're going to play this and see what happens and as you can see it slows it down quite a bit so if you have an animation where you have characters walking you want to have them walk slowly like a you know like a I guess an intro scene to some kind of sci-fi action packed thriller or something like that you can have them walk slowly by remapping their steps or their movement to, w to work slower, which is what's happening here. Let's speed it up. To speed it up, you have to reduce the setting in the new. Let's click on that. Let's type in 10, enter, and play that back. And it's just super fast. So like I said before, time remapping in Blender is easy. It doesn't work when you already have, when you import a video, it works only when you're trying to animate and export the animation you know from blender to render so to speak so yeah that's today's uh... blender quick tip time remapping in blender straightforward and easy and i hope this was helpful to someone uh... thank you guys once again who have subscribed and those of you who will subscribe in the future and i will see you guys on the next one and everyone everyone out there just stay safe cover your cough as my wife says and just you know, just stay safe as possible. Wear a mask if possible just to be smart. All right, see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.